What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel of Charleston Car Videos. You know, we've done all kinds of videos over the last couple years, but one thing we've never really gotten into before is taking a look at rims on vehicles. And I'm talking about the OEM rims that come standard on a vehicle when you buy it at the dealer, right? You know, a lot of times people that love hooking up vehicles and doing aftermarket stuff on them, you know, they probably will take a rim that's on a car that looks pretty decent and just take it off, put the rims and tires in the garage and automatically move up two or three inches in size and put some aftermarket wheels on their vehicle and they're like, oh yeah, man. I got some good looking rims on my car or truck or SUV. Well, we're at the biggest and number one GMC dealer here in South Carolina today. It's called McElveen. And we're gonna be taking a look at the rims that come on some of the GMC trucks. I was out here filming a covers review earlier and I was like, some of the rims on these trucks, pretty much all the rims on the trucks are good looking, man. I mean, they really look like aftermarket wheels. And for so many years, I have been like, uh, I don't like OEM rims, but GMC, oh boy, they got it going on. So stay with us as we walk through and take a look at some of the wheels on the new GMC Sierras for 2019. All right, everybody, so I will do the best I can to point out the size of the rim, the color, and just a little bit of information that I know just right off the top of my head on them. I do not know every single name of the rims or anything like that, so if you see a rim today on a truck that you like, you know, just kind of pay attention when you're out there at the dealership looking at trucks, and you'll be like, oh, that's the one right there that I saw on that video with that guy, Chad. So anyways, let's go ahead and get started. And again, across the board with GMC, I mean, if you're going to buy an X31 black with black wheels, it possibly may already come with these rims on it. So, I don't know. And I'm sure GMC also has some uh, some better looking wheels that you can go on a booklet or in the parts department there and order and put on your truck. But let's go ahead and get the party started, right? So, these here, this is an X31. Take a look. Now, also, good looking rims need to be accompanied by good looking tires. Nitto all-terrain tires are definitely good looking right they're not like big old mud grappler tires but that's a good looking street tire there they're called the uh, Terra Terra uh, come on GRA gr the Terra grappler G2 okay that's on your tire there and then fuel is uh, is the wheel that they have on here so you know I was talking about OEM rims earlier and I just figured those were uh, you know OEM rims on there but I guess the dealer has added some aftermarket wheels on this one and a lot of times they'll have on the, uh, the they call it an addendum on the window they'll have how much it's gonna cost to purchase these wheels but a good looking wheel stay with us all right, so we saw the fuel rims. I think that's so funny that I'm that I am talking about OEM rims on trucks, and then here's the dealer putting aftermarket rims on them, even though that the factory ones look so great. But maybe GMC doesn't offer an all-black wheel. I really don't know. But uh, either way, let's go ahead and keep looking. These here on this Denali look great, and this is going to be a popular rim. It uh, looks like a 22 with a Bridgestone tire on here. So let's take a look and see if that's correct. I'm pretty sure it is correct. Um, yep, got a, a 275 50 series Bridgestone tire with a 22 inch rim. Good looking rim. You know, I, I I would say these aren't chrome. I would almost think that they maybe are polished aluminum. Um, I've seen people get in the comments section before and say they're not polished aluminum because they have a clear coat on them. Um, just rims like this in general. So let me know what y'all think. Are they alloys? Are they chrome? Are they polished aluminum? Or do you want to just call them, well, they're just shiny clear coated wheels, right? But they definitely look good on the Denali truck. And uh, there was some earlier that I looked at that I thought were really sexy on this truck let's go see if we can find them okay here's the rims I just really liked they uh, they're, they're they're like black and then they have right around the edges of the rims they have a uh, like a machine type face and that's another type of rim you can get too with a, a machine face but anyways uh, these are definitely 22s same tires as the truck that we just looked at the white one but again what a good looking wheel I also like that the uh, that that the lug nuts are black as well and you got a lock lug right there so that really flows nicely with the all black the GMC 
see in red. And then again, just around those lips of those rims right in there had that silver just kind of pops, you know? So uh, I bet those look really pretty when they're spinning going down the road. And again, I like the little bit of silver on there. It's nice because the truck has silver and chrome in different spots to accent it. And they're doing the same with the rim. Now, one thing that would be really cool to see is if you had these powder coated with the same color as a truck, instead of black, you had, you know, the blue, right? Because again, look at this, guys. I mean, I got blue New Balance on with black socks. It's just not the best color combination. And that's kind of similar with your, with your vehicle, right? You got a blue truck with black wheels. Doesn't look bad, but a black truck with the black wheels, like the black one down there, would definitely look a lot better as in flowing with the colors. Let's take a look at a few more, right? Here's another set of wheels. These are really pretty, a little bit smaller in size, but look at that rim there, a good looking Bridgestone tire. Um, these are uh, actually 20s, they're a 275 60 series tire by Bridgestone with a 20 inch wheel. And uh, you know, more of your GMC's uh, Sierras are, uh, are going to come with this rim probably on there. I've seen a lot more of them on the lot with that 20. Um, I also think you probably get a little better ride quality with the 20 versus the 22. I mean, the tire is definitely uh, a little bit more lower profile on the 22 versus the 20. I don't think you're going to feel much of a difference when it comes to uh, to the sizes there. But, you know, if you're driving a performance car and you put a, a 20 on there with a really rubber band size tire, or, well, tw anyways, you know what I'm getting at, guys. Let's say you got a pair of 28 inch rims on your 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 your, uh, your your classic cool looking you know hot wheels car right you know and you got those itty bitty little rubber band tires um, those tires are really going to be a more of a rough ride and you got to be a lot more careful when hitting potholes and bumps on the road that you don't bend your rims so the lower profile tire the rougher the ride the thicker the tire the softer and more comforting that ride will be but anyways i don't think it's going to matter too much on uh, on such a big truck with a big rim and still a nice big fat tire all right guys let's keep looking around so like i was just saying i mean most of the trucks out here have that 20 on there i mean look one two's got all the same rims right rims there's another one there's another one i'm looking over here i'm like they're all pretty much the same rims on the trucks not seeing a whole lot of differences there i mean that's pretty much seems to be like the standard uh rim on the GMC truck. It really seems that the uh, the style of the rim changes in size and styling when you bump up to a 22. But uh, with that being said, here's a 1500 series GMC Sierra. This thing looks pretty sporty. I like the white with the matte, the, the, uh, the matte black finish on it. And then you got these good looking 20 inch blacked out wheels. I'm liking that. You know, we saw that black truck at the beginning of the video with those aftermarket fuel rims. I still think that rim would probably look really good on there as well. That's a 275 60 series tire by the general general tires and uh, and that's a 20 inch black wheel now there's a lot of people out there that really aren't fans of black rims they did put the uh, silver uh, lug nuts on there there's no wheel lock on that one but uh, you know there's a lot of people that just don't want a black rim on their vehicle you know um, some people don't like it you know my wife says ah, I don't really like black rims all that much right me on the other hand I think it's sporty so I guess it just depends on the person but I mean we're looking I, I really do again think that GMC has done a great job on the wheels and on the truck for 2019 so uh, what you know what do y'all like do you like this blue with the chrome type rim right or did you like the blue truck with the black wheel? Personally, my choice would be this one right here. I like this much better. You got the chrome trim all over the place on it, and then you got that gorgeous wheel. It just looks definitely a lot more uh, upscale, a little more expensive looking with that rim on there. And uh, that's a really nice looking rim and tire on this beautiful, gorgeous truck with the 6.2 liter V8. Wow, wait, that thing is beautiful. Man, it's a Denali. So anyways, let's look around a little bit more and then we're gonna be done with our rim video today if we can find any more trucks with some different style rims. Getting off the beaten path for just a minute, but I like this rim here on this GMC, GMC uh, Yukon XL. Wow, wait, that's a good looking rim. Take a look at that, man. That's what you call chrome, okay? I mean, that's a chrome rim. 
what we were looking at on that blue truck just there looks like a polished aluminum with a clear coat on it, but that is chrome. You can tell. I mean, chrome looks, it's basically like a mirror. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that over there, not so much. But I like what I like about this rim, it's a little tough to see in the shot, but as we move over, it kind of it kind of goes in, you know? And uh, I'll just, man, that's a really pretty rim on the Yukon. Wow, man, I definitely like that. That's really pretty. Um, one thing I like about the GMC Yukons versus Suburban, the Suburban, I, I don't think the Suburban's headlight goes up onto that fender like that. So I, I like that about the GMC Yukon. Looks really good. Let's see what other rims they got. Ooh, wow, I like that rim. Look at this. Now this has got a, a, a dark gray and then it's got the machine face. Good looking rim there, man. Um, very similar to that rim. I think it's the same, yeah, it's the same exact rim except for one's chrome and one's machine face with the painted. And there you go. And then there's a black one with the chrome. Oh my goodness. That is pretty. All right, let's see what else we can find. All right, everybody, I know we kind of overlapping right now on some rims, but there's a white Denali with that, um, with that black wheel there that looks pretty good. Um, I like to show you, you know, the, the color combinations between them, whether you got the blue with that or the black with that. The white looks pretty good with it as well. So that's looking pretty nice. Anyways, not seeing too many more trucks out here today with different rims, but let's uh, make our way up front and see what we got going on up there because they do have some of their really uh, decked out versions of the Sierras parked up front on the front lines. There's a good looking uh, Z71 4x4 Duramax 2500 series and that's the rim you're getting on there in chrome. Not too bad. There's another 2500 series. That's a good looking truck there in the black with those wheels. Not too bad. There's the white, same rims. These are all on clearance, according to the dealership. Clearance, clearance, clearance. All right, everybody. We haven't seen too many wheels on the uh, the dark red color. Those look nice. Again, these are 2500 series trucks. Looking really good. We're in Truckville, as they say. Duramax Denali. Woo-wee. Man, you need the power. You need the features, the options. That's the way to go right there with the 2500 series. Now we're going to get back into some of the 1500 series trucks. Um, these are actually the previous year body style. Um, they're not the newest of the 2019 body styles, but that's good looking, right? I love in the black. Good looking wheel on there. Very clean. Let us know, guys, in that comment section. I mean, what wheels do you like? I know you have a lot more say so in the styling and you know, customization of your rims on your vehicle when you go with aftermarket. But all I'm trying to get out here today, folks, is that General Motors or GMC, I think they've done a fabulous job of uh, at least giving people a good looking rim on a, uh, on a brand new truck. And it really just kind of sets it off. I think those are one of my favorite. I love those, all the spokes and stuff, just really pretty. And uh, anyways, before we go, we're going to take a look at this truck that's sitting right up here on the point. We started with a, uh, we started the video with a uh, with an OEM or a uh, aftermarket wheel, and we're going to end it with one. Now here's something that we uh, haven't seen yet. This has got something a little different to it, right? Um, this Sierra says AT4 on there, and let's take a look at this. You got the Bridgestone Dueler all-terrain tires with a good looking wheel. Again, black, or actually with the metallics in there, it gives it a gray, but uh, the grayish black with the machine face there. What size are those? Those gotta be 22s, I'm assuming. Um, 20s, so that's actually a 20 inch rim on that one, 6.2 liter. Um, here's a blue with the same wheel. Looks pretty good, right? Haven't seen a whole lot of the uh, the silvers or the light grays, but there's one with the same rim. Looks good. Black. Here's a white one with the AT4 package on it. Very nice. Looking good. Black. There's a, a little bit darker gray with the same wheel. Very nice. And then we're getting back down to that 20 again. And those look nice on the silver. 
So there you go. Wow, what an amazing amount of inventory out here. They got a bunch of vehicles. Now I know why they got on the sign over there, uh, South Carolina's number one GMC and Buick dealer. They got the inventory. Anyways, we're making our way over here to this one. Take a look at that. Wow, isn't that pretty? That's the X31 package. Look at the wheels on there. You know, they got, they look like they're a three-piece rim. Um, now, for some of y'all that aren't familiar with three-piece wheels, true three-piece wheels, you can literally take, basically, on a three-piece wheel, and these aren't, but just looking at it, it kind of gives it the look of a three-piece wheel. But on a three-piece wheel, you would have right here on this part, you would have kind of rivets where you can put put a uh, you know a tool in there, and you actually take the insert out. So you, I get, I'm assuming you'd have one piece here, two piece there, and then three piece here, three-piece wheel. Real three-piece wheels are really expensive um i had a pair of three-piece wheels on my acura integra years ago uh, they were made by volk racing if any of y'all are in the tuner world with jdm vehicles uh volk racing wheels i paid a, paid a pretty penny for them and uh, i even bought them pre-owned or used and they were still really expensive but um those I, I like rims that have a nice big lip on them and that have that kind of three-piece wheel look to it so Anyways, those are aftermarket by fuel and uh, the tires again. You got your your nittos Same tires as the uh, truck we looked at earlier might even be the same rim Now that I think about it anyways guys. Thanks for watching. Have a great day like comment and subscribe Let me know if this video was helpful to you if you're out there looking at GMC trucks and uh, Have a have a great day. Enjoy your day and God bless America. We'll see you soon. Oh guys, I found another truck for you real quick with some different rims on it. Again, by Fuel. Let's take a look though. Something a little different. Those are definitely different than the other Fuel wheels we were looking at earlier. Not too bad. Let's see what size those are. Those got your uh, BF Goodrich all-terrain tires, the TAs, with... 20 so 35 by 12 and a half are 20 so those are your 35s looks really good on this truck this truck has definitely uh, got a nice stance to it as you can see it, uh, it seems to sit up higher than your traditional GMC truck right well maybe I don't know maybe it's just these tires and the rims that make it look like it sits up higher compared to some of the other ones but that's really Nice looking. Anyways, that's how you get your name out there marketing, folks. I'll tell you that. That'd be a great demo vehicle for the marketing person cruising around town here. Now, uh, that one's got actually a 5.3 V8 versus a uh, 6.1 that a lot of the other ones have, or 6.2, I don't know, somewhere right around there. Anyways, guys, just getting into this GMC stuff, but that's a pretty truck, isn't it? Wow. I like those wheels. I'm a big fan of rims and tires. I mean, to me, you know, if you got a vehicle, man, set it off. If you got a new one, what a good looking set of wheels, unless it uh, comes with some nice ones already. That's what I was saying earlier. These OEMs by uh, GMC look really good, but uh, those fuels look great as well. I wonder what kind of price you're going to be paying for them. Who knows? Um, I don't see any window or stickers on the car uh, explaining that. Anyways, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. If we can film a few more out here today while we can, we'll do it.